I don't use racist and, remarks. Well, I've you know, known him a long time. Bruce yeah. Lavelle is an unapologetic Trump supporter who has stood behind the president and his message for years. He said, you know, the, the biggest disconnect in the black community is just not enough jobs and resources. And he said this. He says, when I, and I, this, I kid you not, he said, when I get in, when I win, he said, I'm going to drive that unemployment down so low, I'm going to break the record. Today, the president launches his Black Voices for Trump coalition right here in Atlanta. And it is likely for good reason, as this once red state has seen a recent surge in blue. The African-American um, you know, unemployment is the lowest since 1972. The numbers don't lie. I think that he needs to focus on policies that affect African-Americans more than just platitudes about African-American unemployment being at an all-time low. You can look around and see um, that there are vast needs that are not being met by this administration. Gerald Griggs whole... is with Atlanta's NAACP chapter. I have a problem with a president who's called our uh, nations of origin whole countries. Today could be a turning point in the president's re-election bid, targeting a base that has shown little support. I'm just glad that, you know, um, the president has Atlanta, Georgia, like, wow, you know, he chose of all the cities and states you know, um, you come to Atlanta. Now, Bruce Lavelle, who you just heard from there, says his message to the president to continue to win over African-American votes would be to continue to do what he has been doing since taking office. But he's a very interesting character. He himself had run for office in Georgia's 6th congressional district. For decades, that was a red seat. Only recently, it has switched blue. Now, the president is set to be here at the Georgia World Congress Center later today. That is at 3 o'clock, but in the hours before then and the hours after that, expect a lot of traffic in the downtown area, so avoid this area if you can. That's the very latest live in downtown Atlanta. I'm Adam Harding, CBS 46 News. All right, Adam.